Welcome to my lesson today, which is adding and subtracting up to 100. I would like to encourage you now to bring out your notebook and pen, or if you'd prefer to write in your notes on your laptop, that is fine by me. And I'd encourage you to take notes, please, because you will need to upload them onto the classroom later. I have a few riddles for you. I have two hundreds, three tens, and seven ones. Who am I? Alright, I'll tell you. I'm two hundred and thirty-seven. I have zero hundreds, eleven tens, and one one. Who am I? Okay, I'll tell you again. I'm one hundred and eleven. All right, now this next one, I'd like you to try on your own to figure out, and it's okay if you don't know it right away, but by the end of the slideshow, you should try and figure it out. I have 900s, 110s, and 51s. Who am I? <coughs> and the last one, I have 600s, 210s, and 12 ones. Who am I? And if you need a little help, see what I did for the second one is I had to move 110 over to the hundreds because there are 10 tens. And so a hint for here is the 50 ones, you'd have to move five the ones, five tens. So add one plus five, you have six tens, and then zero ones. So the 50 transferred over to five tens. And then for this last one, the 12 ones, one of the, the 10 will have to transfer to the 10s, so it'll be three tens, and then the two will stay, so it'll be two ones, so it'll be 632. So here is a picture that I would like to explain using if you're familiar with using the tens and the ones, this is how we might want to count using manipulatives. When you have four tens, then you add one more ten over here. You can move them over to fill up these tens. So you see that 110 equals another 10. So there's just two different ways of showing that you have 10. So here's what you see happening 45 minus 21 equals 18. <coughs> and then you have 18 left. You start out with four tens and then five singles good and then you have to take one of the tens to fill up that space so that you can pass on some of these singles over to the singles and then you'll have 18 left so let's get familiar with hundreds tens and ones blocks <clears throat> if that problem didn't make sense that's okay it's confusing, but we got to start out with the building blocks. So each one of these <coughs> big blocks has 100 singles in it. That's 100, 200, 300, and 400, right? And then let's count these. 1, 2, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There are 60 singles right here. <coughs> or six tens, four hundreds, six tens, <coughs> and what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight singles. Four hundreds, sixty, eight, four hundred sixty-eight. <coughs> so 
So just to get familiar, this is a hundred, this is a ten, this is a one, and it can be written in either three of these ways. It can be written as a big block, as a hundred, or as a one zero zero, as a ten block, as a ten, or as a one zero, as a one little block, one, or one. All right, let's practice some adding and subtracting using these. If my dad is 54, then we would use two, one, two, three, four, five tens plus one, two, three, four, fours. Now, what is this number over here? We have 10 tens and two ones. So would I write it like, would I write it like this? 102 or would I write it like this either way works but it's 100 10 tens and two twos and what we're really doing here is we're moving the tens 10 tens to 100 column Now what if I have one, two, three, four, five tens, and then zero ones? That would be 50. How many tens do we have here? Just one, and then one, one here, that's 11. So what I want you to do for homework is to go into this Google Doc, and you'll find the link in the presentation, to either Put your parents' ages or count however many cents you have under a dollar. Um, and to put it in correctly in the tens and ones columns, in the hundreds, tens, and ones columns. So dimes would be tens, pennies would be ones, and a dollar would be a hundred. Because cent means out of a hundred. <clears throat> All right, so what is 100 plus 10 plus 1? <coughs> what is, and please write down your answer in your notepad, what is 99 minus 6? You can use figures to help you. Remember, using the base 10 models. What is 20 plus 40? And yes, please do use the these models if they're helpful. 100, 10, and 1. All right, next challenge, and feel free to pause the video if you need to. Next challenge, draw 132 using 100s and 10s and 1s blocks. And again, these are the blocks for reference. Next checkpoint is 132 equals 100s, 3 tens, and 2 ones. Is that correct or incorrect? Right, true or false? So, what number do you see here? Here, I see 100. 11 ones and two tens, but because there are 11 ones, we can add one more tens and then we'll be left with one one. So we have 131. <clears throat> Checkpoint number four 100 and two tens and 11 ones. adds up to 131. Is this true or is this false? Explain your reasoning. And we can test our knowledge 
and I'd like you to answer 10 questions from this math game. On your free time, you can also choose to use this website. Instead, it's up to you. And make sure to fill out this sheet as well. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful night. God bless.